Welcome everyone, we have another quarterfinal matches and here we have Imports Backpack versus Sander. And here we are going to focus, of course, on import point of view from Imports Backpack, from the name of the team. You imagine that's one of the top player in their team and he's playing jungle. And here you are going to see like very, very efficient farming, very clean ganks all around the game dodging wards all those good things on top of that you're gonna see like how good the synergy is on the side of imports backpack when it comes to chaining their cc thanks to the Severog, the decker the Beleka, the crunch and the drongo every time someone get caught out of position they were basically dead so we are gonna watch the first match of the third quarter final that was between sunder against imports backpack on the center side, we do have G Boy, Ragnarok, Kimbo, Ridwano, and Medboy facing against Imports Backpack of Julie Latina, Zane Wengel, Import, and Nos. Um, and we're gonna focus on that match on the Crunch Jungle. I have to admit, it's been a long while that I haven't seen a Crunch in the jungle. Crunch, I kind of fall off the meta because there is like a lot of counter pick, like with the Drongo, the Rictor, uh, the Belica, Decker, like a lot of actual character that makes the Crunch very, very, very hard to play. But as you can see here, probably the Rictor was banned. And uh, we see the Drongo, the Decker, the Belica, all those picks are already on the side of Imports backpack. So the potential to actually like completely like nullify that crunch, it's still like a little bit possible because like Murdoch is pretty good at actually being like annoying for crunch. Steel can also like be uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, Quang, the tether, I assume the tether is probably pro pretty good against crunch. Like crunch has so many stuff that he has to go through. And so I'm a little bit careful, uh, curious to see how import is going to actually manage to impact that match. And so here we can see, uh, of course, we do have um, the gold buff start. Uh, oh, sorry, not the gold buff, the red buff start here for the crunch, while the opposing jungler on the Zarus uh, is actually going also for the red. Um, in terms of like dual lane, we do have a steel Murdoch against the Decker Drongo. So like this dual lane should not be able to really play the game on the side of Sunder. Steel into Decker can't really like do much. Uh, so they just have to play like passive and so probably like there is no gank to be found here in the mid lane it's a Gideon a Gideon can actually like be ganked by a crunch like that's one of the rare characters that can actually like be pretty okay-ish to gank a Gideon despite the torn space because you can follow up after the torn space get the, the slow afterwards you still have the dash for the initial engage so there is like option to even like catch the Gideon even if he torn space away and then we have the Quang in the offlane even though like the quang is probably like gonna dominate the matchup against the Severog, but that can also like maybe offer like some opportunities for um for uh, some gank but here you can see import as a crunch you're kind of looking to get your level six as fast as you can pre-level six your gank can be like you basically have a slow and a gap closer that's what you have so if you arrive from behind that's a lot of damage and crunch does a lot of damage early maybe you have an opportunity but realistically speaking the best is really like to try to power farm to get your level six as fast as you can here we're gonna see like we actually like go over and that's one of the things that import love to do and here like on the river buff timing is gonna eat the offlane and yeah, that's like G-Boy had no idea he was coming. He doesn't have mana. That's gonna be a flash, but even if he flash, then we can flash after. We get the dash and that's gonna be a first blood. There is no way he get out of that. And no import can just like get the teal buff. Gonna rotate our his three camp into blue buff and gonna be like completely fine. And this situation is like imports keeps doing that time and time again. And I wish like most stronger like would pick up on that. But it doesn't look like much, but this dash to go inside the pit means that even if G-Boy had ward here on this three camp or anything, like you can see there was a ward here. Like G-Boy actually warded, but because we decided to go for that passing, we completely dodged the ward. And that's like where import is actually like a step above the curve when it comes to jungling is how about like going for this like non-conventional passing to actually like dodge the ward and make it like almost guaranteed like kills on these gangs and so here it doesn't even lose really time when it comes to the clear because after you finish the full clear of the jungle if you go for it you have like a timing to gank it just decided to go for the timing 
and on top of that by going for the time to gank he get the experience for getting the kill he got some experience from the wave and he also like get some experience from the teal buff so he's actually like in a very very good shape in that uh situation and here you can see five camp is probably up but he's going first like towards like probably covering the mid lane here it seems that uh Belican needs to go back to base Rango needs to go back to base and so he's just gonna clear cover the wave probably gonna secure maybe uh, a river buff and then like gonna keep like the, the jungle up but no he's actually going to get a little bit of information he's arriving on the timing trying to secure i'm not sure i think he stole something uh, but not sure g-boy is gonna be there so it's not gonna get like a river buff thanks because the rotation of g-boy and here is going to just go back towards the four camp here all these camp were up for quite a while so i guess like no import is going to focus a little bit on farming but at the same time who knows as we can see like g-boy is very advanced but no we are gonna Rotate towards the other side of the map, focusing on 4 camp, 2 camp, try to get the experience up as fast as we can. Probably also, like, then we're looking at the 5 camp and the red buff respawning. And here, red buff is gonna respawn. And probably after red buff plus 5 camp, that's a level 6. And that's maybe like a moment to try to go for a play. Maybe onto the dual lane. Maybe try to force like the Fangtus. Even though I think like probably before Fangtus we want to have the upgraded hunt. So Import is saying um, he's just vibing. No Skype, no gank. And so here we got the level 6, we're gonna go for the D ward, get a little bit of vision control. So we are back, sorry for the little like technical issue, the game just crashed. And so we have, we are back, as I was saying like here, we got like, we lead up with the right crunch. And so we managed to just like TP away here. Since Wangle managed to land the seismic assault, like we we're saying, if we just like keep the left crunch to deal damage is probably a kill but we still get the flash and so a gideon without flash against the crunch is actually like in a difficult position we do get the evade to dodge like the onboard uppercut otherwise ragnarok was very low on hp but that means that we're gonna get like a very huge priority here with this huge wave going under tower both river buff are going to be secured on the side of imports backpack and we can keep like the pressure going G-Boy has no mana on the offlane, so he has to be a little bit careful. But I, he do expect like import rotating. Import is still like going for it. Gonna get the dash, onboard it or cut. We get like the rotation of the Bellica from Wangol, and that's just like here, it's just like clean execution. It's nothing fancy, but G-Boy has absolutely no shot of like getting away if you just execute properly. And that's what they do. They do lead with the easy CC to land, which is dash into like the big E and then like a huge AoE. And then you go for the Seismic Assault, ultimate, and that's a free kill. And so here, we do find like the second pick, uh, second kill onto G-Boy a second time, unfortunately through ganks. And here we're just gonna clear the jungle. And gonna get like once again three camp, four camp. I guess we're working towards finishing like fully the first item. Um, since we already have like the stone of um, strength. I wonder what is gonna be like the first item that we're looking for on import. As you can see, like blue buff respawn, we're immediately on it. So far, like the jungle farming has been pretty efficient. And so yeah, we're gonna go for the reset and we're gonna see which item import is going to go first. And that's the Berserker Axe first item. That's an item that I myself didn't get the chance to use at all since it uh, has been released. And so here we get like a little bit of movement speed here as we can see it was through the fog gate. So I guess you get like efficient rotation towards the jungle. Also like with like some good ability ace and good like different like bonus damage uh, from like early games potential. Unfortunately as we can see here the crest is just finished. 
We do have, unfortunately, Medboy having a DC right now. But it is what it is. You're in a tournament, already got some kills. We have to pull through, and here we're gonna like try to force like this Fangtus. We do have priority on dual lane. Mid lane is kind of even, but we have priority in the jungle, so import is just gonna force the Fangtus. Crunch is still unbelievably be good at actually doing objective because it does a ton of damage. Like a ton of damage to objective because he has very high DPS through the rotation of his abilities when you never get CC. And he's actually also have like pretty good sustain thanks to like his passive. And so that's like the first Fangtus of the game being found. Import is looking like for the game onto the mid lane, setting up the onboard uppercut, going for the dash. Unfortunately, like Kimbo realizing, going for the turn space immediately. So the element of surprise wasn't enough. And so here we're just like probably going to go farm this red buff that I assume is going to respawn like. The timings on this man are pretty good. Medboy is now back into the game, so at least like the DC wasn't too long. We're gonna like farm a little bit like this camera on the spectator mode with this forward crunch is actually like kind of jarring, I have to admit. Sorry for that, but can't do much about it. So here we're looking, the warding, being sure that uh, it doesn't get caught here. They know that he's here. So it's just like simply gonna be like an invade to see if they find some sin. Here, like going for the gank when the enemy team knows that you are here is not really like valuable. But you, if you can bait them to come to the camp, then suddenly like here. Yeah, Ridwano. I actually like surviving here. I thought for sure he was dead, even like with the flash mist. But he survived and here we don't know had to be careful. We're gonna go for the reset, 1200 gold, quest to be finished. So we're gonna go for the ice corn talon. We see that the enemy team is actually like trying to force the mini prime here uh, and they're gonna secure it, taking advantage of that gank on the dual lane to actually secure the mini prime objective. Ragnarok is kinda low, Wengol is gonna to chase that. I guess import is also like walking around with Ragnarok that low, with the fact that there was on the mini prime, Kimbo that low, G-Boy that low, everyone has to go back so import was chasing and the idea was like if they stayed, well, Ragnarok is actually like risking a lot here like being at that HP against the crunch when you have the mini prime and the thing is like he's staying so he's still like not really like creating anything on the map while he's losing time on the mini prime i don't think he should have like stayed to contest that two camp he should have accepted that this two camp was gone and just like reset and try to get some tempo on the map with this mini prime buff and so here we're gonna farm again respawn of three camp into four camp i feel like that's the feeling of deja vu and crunch is very fast at clearing camp so that's also something going for you here you can see we get like the movement speed buff we get the movement speed buff again so i guess like that helps with the rotations through the jungle and here we're trying like to de ward getting like priority on river buff control trying to starve kimbo from actual like um, mana sustain and here like Ragnarok is not really like allowed to make a play and so here in port was checking here Kimbo is tapping a little bit we're gonna go for the just a little bit of a poke while Julie Latina actually like find like this dual lane on the set of imports backpack do find the kill in the 2v2 scenario Ragnarok is being uh, around I don't think import can actually like steal this objective so is well this uh, camp it's not really an objective and so it's just like gonna dash away so not much to be fine so far we're gonna keep like the farm going we do get a little bit of aggression onto Wengol Wengol forced to flash away import gonna go for the rotation since Kimbo is kind of low maybe we get like a double dash it's not good enough, so we're gonna turn into Ragnarok. Doing a little bit of poke, but 
no kill potential unfortunately i think like import was looking do i get like the double dash potential but he realized that the gideon was probably like, slightly too far away and didn't want to go for it We do get like the Fangtus respawning here. And so we try to get like full vision control. The enemy team is all around, so import is just like playing that slightly slow. He doesn't want to get poked too much. And here we're trying like to catch maybe someone. Nose is rotating, so they take advantage that they have, like their offlaner, while the enemy offlaner is not around to just like force it. And here we have Wengo like stopping Kimbo from entering. We have Zane stopping the other side. They do secure, they do get the stun. They try to go on to Ragnarok. We do get like the sub trigate, but unfortunately they couldn't engage. In the meantime, in the back line, they're going kinda ham, but it's only real one by himself. Nose is trying to disengage here and that's gonna be like probably like just a full on disengage on the side of Team Import's backpack and they do secure for themselves a very clean like Fengtus but Ridwano is staying, Import's trying to find a kill but in the end it's Wengul thanks to the Mega Cosm on that steal and uh, yeah in the end an additional kill on the side of Import's backpack after reaping the reward that was the Fengtus. So after all this team fighting, of course, all the buffs are probably up. So Import is going to try to keep his jungler killing being efficient, working towards the level 11 to get like his uh, second point into his ultimate. He's going to go back with 1500 gold in the pocket. I'm not sure it's enough to finish the next item. So he's probably just going to go back and buy like another component and he's working towards the augmentation. Uh, I think he still need like 600 more gold to fully finish that item. getting like double buff and then probably like the mini prime is not so far away from respawning so maybe we're gonna look at a play around that we get the level 11 we're actually like a higher level than the offlaner which is absolutely insane as a jungler and uh, here we get like going in double dash into the thing we do get the colossal blow into subjugate we're gonna get the flash flash dash combo and that's another kill and like i said like import being like ahead in levels of like the actual like offlaners is pretty good as a jungler not gonna lie so we're looking at maybe like trying to steal a little bit of damage ragnarok trying to go aggressive onto like this bellica but i don't think there is actually like a aggression to be found they're gonna get the kill but in the end like it's actually like very close but we get the flash again out from like this uh, this Gideon and I feel like with crunch being there even if you fully combo into the epoch like you're gonna get them low but you're not gonna kill them and you're gonna like lose the trade and that's what end up happening here in that situation and they read one on the steal dying another time here Overall, it's a 0-8. Pretty clean game so far from Import's backpack. Import is probably like definitely looking at some point to be able to go back to finish his augmentation, but they do have like a timing on the map to be able to take that mini prime, so it's just like gonna go for it once again. Crunch is very good at that. Doing those objectives by himself, he does them like quite fast without sustaining any amount of damage. And so here we do have Jibo like coming around, but we do have Zane that is here to help with the zoning and to ensure that we can secure that pretty convincingly. And we're gonna secure the mini prime. And so we're three objectives to one objective so far. And we're gonna get that mini prime when the Fangtus is going to respawn. Import is also like gonna be able to have his back before this Fangtus is going to respawn. So it's gonna have like a very substantial lead compared to Ragnarok for this next team fight and that's gonna be like very very tough to fight into like this monster of a crunch augmentation is finished we go for the rune bow plus the saber 
I wonder what is that item? Bone Seeker maybe? Yeah, and it did like 10 CS a minute on a jungler is actually like very good. Oh, Absolution. You might be right, Skype Hamster. Definitely. To counter against like the CC of the steel. We try to go in. We do find like the chain CC. Ragnarok is happy to be able to play the game. They do get like the black hole on two people. So import and wangle takes a lot of damage, but they still like manage to find like the enemy jungler out of that engagement. And here we're gonna get just like priority on the mid lane, trying to maybe like apply some pressure. We do get read one with the rotation and we like forced to dash away. Wangle is kind of low. He has to be careful, low on mana as well. But we got the rotation from Zane and Noz. I wonder if they want to force this Fangtus. With Import being that low and Ragnarok is going to respawn. And actually, like, no. Import is just going to go back to base. They don't want to risk it. They don't have to risk it. It's better here. Like, the thing is, if they force it right now, with Import being low, they kind of have a risk of actually, like, being them being stolen from them and Import dying. And if like import hesitate too much, then they have a window because import will have to go back to base while the enemy team would be around. So here import decide to take like the safest play, which is like I can go back to base and then we just like walk back to the Fangtus and we just set up a 5v5. If the full enemy team is around, like that pack did not offer them any window to actually like contest uh, to get it for free. And so at worst with that pack, we just have to do a 5v5, but we're actually like that far ahead that we're not that scared for the 5v5. And here, Peekaboo, Chain CC, Kimbo, you're dead. And from that pickup, I guess maybe they're looking to get like the tier 1 tower in mid lane. Maybe try to force like the all prime, I'm not sure. I feel like here the, the, the direction is mainly like taking the tier 1 tower. And we do find the cage. Wombo combo, you're dead. I feel like Sunder is enjoying the fact that they can play the game that fast. And so yeah, definitely it's Absolution because we see the Eric Ward being completed on the side of Import. 3-0 and 4, so far doing a very good job. Level 13, top level in the match, uh, equal with the mid laner and the off laner of his own team. Still ripping those 10 CS per minute. Zane making a little bit of a pun, saying that he's James Bond with the 007 scoreline. And we have Triple Fangtus, and Triple Fangtus, like. It's still pretty good on the save rock. And here we can see we tried to go in. Ragnarok managing to get the barricade before we get the uppercut. So otherwise he would have taken like probably half of his health immediately. And here we're going aggressive. And that's gonna be a kill. And then Ragnarok is here, but that's gonna be a kill again. Import just like, and, and that's like one of the things that you can see from Import and Wangle, like their synergy together, is just like they don't overspend their resources and then go for the abilities that are going to connect most likely. And so that means that even like here, they got the Gideon without having to even spend a seismic assault which means that then like even if Ragnarok arrives they still have resources to spare and if like they feel like they can't get the kill they don't lose tempo they're just like okay the kill is gone we got the flash is enough we just disengage and rotate and keep like the tempo going and I think that's one of the reasons like import is like that high in terms of like level and that the whole situation is like seems very very hopeless it's 0-13 very very clean so far perfect game on the side of import's backpack we got the Absolution finished, we're working towards Abandoned Emerald to get a little bit more tankiness overall as the uh, crunch. It's mainly like all like perusery kind of item. Absolution is more 
damage than Bruisery, but still you have a little bit of defense about it. Augmentation and Berserker Axe is definitely like Feister style uh, type of item. And then the rest is like basically being like some level lead uh, in a sense, as we can see, like we're at the same level, at the highest level on the enemy team and four level up their support. Here we're gonna try like to go on to G-Boy. G-Boy doesn't have a tower, so here we're gonna get like the combo, Ice Corn Talon being used. We get like the dash again, and so we force the flash. Not much more chase. Reboy lose 50% of his health and a flash, while import didn't lose anything. An ally tower destroyed. So we're gonna go for the rotation, try to group up with his teammate. Actually, I just like being a little bit hidden. And here we can see we have the 1-4. Import split pushing. Wango looking for maybe the stun. They got a little bit of damage onto Ridwano. By a little bit of damage, I mean he's dead. Yeah, I guess when you have like Sevrock, Bellica, Baker, like every single CC that you that is landed is suddenly like a kill. And any of those CC can actually set up the next CC. So it's like uh, pretty tough. We try to go in with the Coliseum. Nos tried to go for the Colossal Blow, but unfortunately Doom is the Colossal Blow. Import is 1 HP and it ended up dying. Like the clean sheet has been lost and unfortunately for Import here, it's it's Nos that didn't really manage to clean up the Coliseum because he missed his Colossal Blow. I have to admit, Nos, I feel like missing more Colossal Blow than he actually eats them on Sevrock. But here, they still secure like two inhibitors out of like this whole situation and that's probably gonna be like a simple disengage maybe work out towards like these primal fangtus but they do have to be careful because no they don't have uh their uh, crunch and their jungler to be able to secure it so we're gonna try to secure like maybe a tier 2 tower but actually we see that everyone is rotating towards them so they don't want to like overstay their welcome we're gonna get like a little bit of aggression. They tried to go onto the Bellica, try to get the chain CC as much as they can. Unfortunately, Ridwano not perfectly timed on uh, the shield slam, and so like Wengol managed to go away. We do get the black hole on both of them, but Wengol flashing away. And here we have Zane coming back, nose pushing back against Kimbo. Kimbo is oh dodging the stun very, very close. But we get like people very low on HP. Medboy is already dead. We get the subjugate. It's gonna be another pickup. And here, like, we do have import just stealing like the jungle. They're gonna chase onto Kingbo. We're gonna get like a subjugate pretty soon. And that's gonna be like the dash. But then import have the dash. We got the flash. And that's gonna be four people dead. Mini Prime still up. Finally gone. But it's gonna be like a lot of big wave. And that's just gonna be team. But imports backpack and it up winning the game and the name of the team is Import's Backpack and I have to say like I'm sorry but Import is the only feeder on his team so maybe we should rename the, the team despite the, the pun to be fair very clean game 5 1 and 8 on the crunch the death is never not even on his uh, shoulder and uh, yeah that was like a very good tempo I love the passing to Dutch Ward in the early game never like it's just like efficient jungling from what we have seen uh, not losing a lot of time every time you go for a gank it's decisive and then you keep his farming up and that was like just um a player to watch if you want to get better at jungle